So Celtics owner Wick Grossbeck called the reception he got when he addressed Celtics fans at TD Garden after the team's selection of Jalen Brown, the worst he's gotten in 14 years. Not a promising start by the newest Celtic, but it does show that he does give a promising interview. Just ask our Yanni Caracas, who sat down with Jalen and joins us now live from Brooklyn. Yanni. Well, Mark, maybe part of the reason Celtics fans were happy is because they wanted the Seas to pick Chris Dunn at number three overall. Ultimately, that was a marriage that did not come to fruition. Dunn, of course, going number five to Minnesota with the Celtics picking Jalen Brown, the talented small forward out of Cal, at number three overall. The Celtics have also picked two other Europeans since then, as we're at number 28 currently in the first round. Let's talk more about Chris Dunn. He joins a Minnesota team with some talented young players, Carl Anthony. Anthony Towns, Andrew Wiggins, and he's playing for a coach, Tom Thibodeau, with a history of really good defense. We all know Chris Dunn plays good defense. So Chris Dunn knew he'd be drafted tonight, top five, top six, top seven. But I asked him about, in that moment, being drafted, what it meant. His story is well documented coming up, uh, a tough childhood, graduating from PC, and then his dreams coming true tonight. Joined now by Chris Dunn, the fifth overall pick to the Minnesota Timberwolves. You knew where you were going to be picked in the first few picks. You didn't know when or by whom, but it happened with Minnesota. Obviously an emotional moment for you. What was that moment like when you heard your name called? I mean, I think everybody could tell it was very emotional, you know, for me and my family. You know, we put a lot of hard work into this. They know how much I work for this and how much I want to make them proud. Minnesota is a good fit because you have a lot of people you can distribute the ball with. Andrew Wiggins, Carl Anthony Towns, Kevin Garnett, a guy who we just spoke with off camera, was probably you were a year or two when you first got into the league. Do you like the fit with the Timberwolves? Uh, yeah, you know, they're young, you know, they're t very talented, you know, Towns, Wiggins, Levine, you know, uh, Muhammad mm -hmm. and you know the fact that you know I have to be you know in an organization with a guy like Kevin Garnett who's going to be a Hall of Famer you know I'm gonna go in there and ask him so many questions you know uh, try to soak you know much information I can because why not I mean he's Absolutely. a great when you were playing pickup games for money back in Virginia your story is well documented could you have imagined this moment you know, when I was little, definitely not. You know, uh, I didn't know what path I was going to go down, you know, until my father came, you know, and, and, you know, put a structure and discipline around me and, you know, helped me build a future. And, uh, you know, I'm out here and I'm living my dream. You know, it's definitely a reality and I'm doing it for my family. Many people thought you should have gone to the draft. Last year you waited a year, went to the NCAA tournament with PC, really paid off. In hindsight, the right choice for you? Definitely. I mean, I can't complain. You know, I got my college degree. You know, I still made my family proud. I still, you know, was able to be a kid one more time before all of, you know, this exciting stuff, you know. I think I feel like I can handle it now because I'm more mature mentally and physically. You know, uh, I, I got to, you know, mature on the court and, you know, learn so much about basketball. Was there one moment tonight where you kind of looked around and you pinched yourself and said, wow, I'm an NBA player? Yeah, when I see how many people came out and supported me, you know, Providence College, New London, you know, I'm right up the road from New York, and you know, the fact that they were here to support me is so much, is showing me how much love that they have for me, and I'm gonna just try to give it all back. What is the ceiling for Chris Dunn over the next 10, 15 years? You know, uh, I set my standards high. You know, uh, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna work hard. You know, I want to try to win championship. I want to try to be an All Star. You know, I want people to remember me. You know, as a, a great player, but also a better person. And the NFL draft, uh, and NBA draft is such a fluid process. So as you sit here now, do you still are you like waiting? Like trades are ongoing. Are you expecting anything like that to happen? Uh, I have no idea. You know, I want to be surprised. You know, right. is is the NBA? That's the exciting part about it. You know, so many things happen through this process. You know, whatever, whatever it is, you know, I'm just now I get to go to work. You know, I don't have to worry about this part. Yep. I could just, you know, work and get ready for summer league. Last question. What happens next? What are you doing this summer prior to uh, October and the start of the season? Working. I got to grind. I got to grind. I understand, you know, I made my dream come true. But, you know, I have many more dreams I need to accomplish. And it starts by, you know, being in the gym. And your teammate Ben Bentel, uh, most likely we get drafted soon. What's that moment going to be like two PC Friars going to the NBA same year? It's going to mean a lot, you know, especially for Ben and his family. I know how hard he worked in the summer. I think everybody could tell from his jump from freshman to sophomore year. And, you know, that's my brother. You know, I want the best for him. And I, I feel like he deserved to be a first-rounder because he's a great person on and off the court. 
Thanks so much, Chris Dunn. Many in New England hoping you'd go to the Celtics to see you closer to home, but congratulations on Minnesota and the fifth overall pick. Thank you. So a big congrats to Chris Dunn and again Jalen Brown number three overall to the Celtics. I was really impressed with his maturity. He says he went to Cal and he wants to come to Boston with the Celtics and take some classes at Harvard. He also appreciates the Celtics storied history. You know I love to win. Uh, playoff basketball is something I, I want to be a part of right away so I can't wait for that. Uh, Boston Celtics are a good, good program and they're known for tradition and winning. I just want to get back, help get back to that. that uh, that Larry Bird-esque or that Paul Pierce Big 3-esque, that, that championship day. So that's what I want to help you get back I to. Think so. And finally, the night is still young in Brooklyn. The Celtics still have five more picks, and we're still waiting on Ben Bentel to be selected as we approach the very end of the first round. Live in Brooklyn, Mark, back to you.